We also have the tricuspid valve. Explain that to us, doctor. So again, I always like to start from basics. You have your right side of the heart and you have your left side of the heart. On this image, the right side of the heart is actually on the right, and that's with the right ventricle. And then you have your tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is taking all the blood from the body that's deoxygenated, and it's allowing it to be pumped to be going into the right ventricle, which allows it to go into the lungs. For a really long time, we've, as cardiologists and as surgeons, have almost forgotten about this valve, and it was called the forgotten valve at one time. We're now realizing that it's just as important as any other type of valve, and the future holds on what do we do with patients that have a leaky tricuspid valve, and how do we help them, because it's a strong marker of a reduced mortal of an increased mortality if this valve is leaking. So can you have stenosis and regurgitation in the tricuspid valve? You can, but unlike the other valves, stenosis is extremely rare in the tricuspid position, and it's usually a problem with leakiness or regurgitation of the tricuspid valve that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, and at the Miami Cardiac and Vascular Institute, I understand that you can use the mitra clip procedure on the tricuspid valve. Tell us just how that works. Exactly. So. Just like in the mitral valve uh, procedure with the mitral clip, you're clipping the two leaflets together, you're using the same type of approach, and you're, again, you're using imaging to guide you into the tricuspid valve and then clip one of the three, clip two of the three leaflets together. And it's the same principle where you're trying to reduce the amount of leakiness and, um, per, and create a better outcome for your patients. And this is a procedure that's available um, for patients that are non-surgical and, uh, and cannot have a surgical approach to fixing their valve.